Hello, my name is Jim, and I'm coming to you from Crawford, Nebraska. We're from the Ministry of Health. We'd like to share with you tonight a few health nuggets, and the one I'd really like to share with you tonight is called, What is Health? What is health, anyway? Now, the Bible defines health as a condition of wholeness. Now, that means mentally, physically, and spiritually. So for me to be in health and to be whole, I have to be all three of these. Mentally, physically, and spiritually whole. You know, in Matthew 9 and verse 12, it tells us there that they that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. Now, are we whole or are we sick? You see? God's promise, though, is found in Exodus 15:26, and this is one of my favorite texts. This is what it says here. It says, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee which I brought upon the Egyptian, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. Now he says that I will put none of these diseases on you, and he also says that I can heal you. I will take these diseases away from you. So these are very important things for us to understand. God is waiting for you and I to come to him and, and live as he directs. And when we do that, he promises, he says, I will heal you. Here at Ministry of Health, we're very fortunate because we get to see many people that have been delivered from a, a, a disease that's really terminal. And my wife was one of them. But anyway, this is what we want to talk to you about tonight, is what is health anyway? What is it? If I feel that I'm sick, what is the first thing that I am to do? You see, the first thing I should do to regain health is not run out and buy a drug, not even to use an herb. The first thing I need to do is what, what should I do? I need to go to the Lord and find out what should I do to regain health. What has caused my sickness? We need to search out the cause. Because the cause, if we find out the cause, then we can deal with it. You see, the medical profession today deals with symptoms. We don't deal with symptoms here. We go to the cause. What has caused the problem? We've had many people coming here, many people coming here that, that have had diseases that they can't, well, they're terminal and they can't get over them. But we've seen God heal them. In Proverbs 26 and verse 2, there's a verse that tells us, As a bird by wandering, and as a swallow by flying, so the curse causeless shall not come. So God is really trying to tell us we need to search out the cause. And we do away with the cause, and usually the cause is our diet and our lifestyle. But he says, if you do away with the cause, I will heal you. In Isaiah 3 and verse 10, it tells us, Say ye to the righteous, that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. But woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hands is given him. You see, the Lord will allow us, if we're going to eat things that are harmful to us, live in a way that's harmful to us, the Lord's going to let us go our way, and we're going to suffer the consequences. But the Lord intends to bring his people back to live upon the, you know, the simple ways, you know, of life, a simple diet and get a rest that we need to follow the eight laws of health. And when he asks us to do that and we do it wholeheartedly and as he asks, he promises, he says, I will heal you. See, before, before the children of Israel went into Egypt, they, you know, they were healthy. When they come out, there was not, there, there was hardly anyone that was healthy among them. This is why God had to take them out on the desert. He took them out on the desert to get them in a controlled environment where they couldn't ha eat, you know, just anything or any time. They only could he eat what he gave them at a certain time. It was the only time they could collect it. And in a, what happened then after 40 years of, in the desert, there was not one single person. It tells us in, in Psalms that there wasn't one single person 
sick among them. Now that's really remarkable, because you have to understand, there's nearly, oh, I would say, two and a half, three million people, and not one sick person. So this shows you that God's ways are the best ways. You see, is there any hope for us folks? In Psalms 41 and verse 4 it says, I said, Lord, be merciful unto me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. We have to understand what has caused our problem and realize in most all cases, it's the way we have lived and the diet we have chosen. But God says when we come to him and if we do things his way, he will heal us. You see, we, we must come to realize that we've been sinning against God. We've been doing wrong against God. This body he's given to us, we have been really neglecting or mistreating. And so we have to understand, usually healing calls for a change in our diet and our lifestyle. In Psalms 103 and verse 2, it says here, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forgot, forget none of his benefits who forgivest all thine iniquities, and healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth th thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed. You know, folks, I'm very fortunate. Working here in the Ministry of Health and helping people here, I get to see... God performing miracles on different people. You see? But the first thing we have to share with people is they need to search out the cause. What has caused the problem? And we search that out, and then we, we help them to get over that. And a lot of times, it's a difficult thing for them because they've got to change, change a habit, you see? Yeah. So the very, very first thing we need to do is ascertain what has caused the problem. Now, the next thing that comes into the picture, we have to help them regain faith. You see, faith is, you know, the leading healing power of God. And God will not save unless it's combined with good works. I can't have faith that God's going to heal me, and then I'm still doing wrong and doing things I know that God is not, does not approve of. Because this isn't good, good faith, you see? This is why I ask people, do you think God can heal you? And they'll all reply, yes. And I ask them, do you think he will? And now we see a doubt and a lack of faith. We must have faith if we're going to be healed, you see? In Psalms 34 and verse 22, it tells us there that the Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust him shall be desolate. Yes, God will heal if we put our faith and we trust him. You see? Remember the Lord said, I am the Lord that healeth thee. That's a promise, folks. If we do as he, as he instructs, he promises he will heal us. You see? God also says in Isaiah 41, Isaiah 41 and verse 10, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. You see, when faith is exercised, you see, man, man in return says in Psalms 139, I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and, and that my soul knoweth right well. You see, folks, physical life cannot be, cannot be treated in a haphazard way. God has given us instruction. He's given us instruction on what to eat and when to eat it. He took the, he took the children out in the desert, the children of Israel. And he taught them, you know, what to eat and when to eat it. And when, when they followed his instructions, like I, we mentioned before, when they crossed the river into that promised land, there wasn't one, one sick person among them. 
So <clears throat> our physical life cannot be treated in a haphazard manner. We must take up our responsibility. God has made us responsible of our life and our health. He's let you choose what you want to eat. He lets you choose how you want to live and then how, how you choose to live and eat. This is what's going to determine whether you are in Him healthy or you're unhealthy. We must ask ourselves, folks, am I whole in Christ? What is whole? You see? We come back to this now. You see? I am physically, mentally, and spiritually whole. That means healthy. You see? Christ is to be this uniting, united link. He is the one that's to really help us to have this connection with Him. And He's the one to help us to have health. Jesus says in Matthew 21 and verse 22, And all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. If I'm eating like Christ wants me to eat, if I'm living like Christ wants me to live, and I'm coming to Him and asking Him to help me with any shortcomings that I have or any problems that I have, His promise is He will help me. He will help me so that I can be a testimony for Him. But prayer and spiritual life is also necessary here, folks. It isn't just what we eat and just how we live. We have to have that connection with Christ. So I really encourage you tonight, please, be close to Christ. Ask Him. He will come into your life. He will bless you. And He wants to heal you because He wants you to be a living, walking testimony to Him. Again, I'd like to Thank you for just being with us, just for this short time. And I pray that this will have some effect to help you. My name is Jim, and I'm from the Ministry of Health, and I just want to wish you a good night, and God bless you.